So I was um, in this period where I published two novels and the second novel had gone out of print and uh, I, was, I was in a pinchy place in my life. So I had um, a hit boomerang, I was back living at home with my mom and I was broke and I was afraid that like, I'm, you know, my publishing career was over, um, which of course sounds melodramatic now that I'm looking back on it, but at the time it was a very frustrating period in my life. So um, I, I realized at some point that um, the way to get past all of this frustration and this, this anger and all these circumstances beyond my control um, was to do some work on myself. So, um, so I, I, did, I did all of the things, um, you know, yoga and meditation and, um, you know, lots of journaling and free writing and mind mapping to try to figure out, you know, what, what were my emotional needs that were underneath um, all of this this rage that I was feeling um, like what were these emotional needs that were underneath what I thought I wanted and needed out of my career um, so I started exploring all of that and doing that sort of deep work um, reading a lot of self-help books um, so I ended up writing the self-help book that I most needed to read um, a, a book that I hadn't found that wasn't out there yet so I decided I should be the one to write it um, but I you know wrote it primarily for myself and then I, and then once I started writing it I thought well this could be helpful for other people um, so that's where like that's how life thought started.